At a bird's eye view, Plainfield, New Jersey may look like lots of small towns across America. But when you walk the streets and talk to the folks here, you start to realize something. The bank owns a big chunk of this city. I moved in three houses, and three of the houses that I've lived in have foreclosed, and I was forced to move. Of the roughly 9,000 homes in Plainfield, nearly 900 are in foreclosure. That's almost three times the national average. It's terrible. I mean, my kids have to walk past these empty houses, and um, I'm afraid for them. You won't find padlocks or boarded up windows, but it's not tough to find people thousands of dollars in debt on their homes. Right here on East Front Street alone, there are 25 homes in foreclosure. And just down the way on Berkeley Terrace, you'll find eight more. Crime is now rampant in Plainfield. The police spend their time breaking up gang activity. And determining which came first is a chicken and egg situation for Mayor Sharon Robinson Briggs. Do you feel as though the, the amount of foreclosures, really the foreclosure crisis mm -hmm. in, in this city, um, led to this increased gang violence? There may be a relationship in terms of certain areas in the city of Plainfield where some of our residents uh, have been laid off uh, who feel kind of hopeless at this point. The highest density of foreclosures is near the gang violence, 123 within a half mile. But there are hundreds more all over town. I'm looking for more help from these companies. You want more help from the more banks? More help from the banks, absolutely. We reached out to the banks that hold the most mortgages of foreclosed homes in Plainfield. Bank of America wouldn't comment. Wells Fargo issued a statement saying they continue to work with borrowers to find alternatives to foreclosure. The town is going down, taxes are going up, we're suffering. Today, home prices continue to fall. There are layoffs in the schools, and the city has cut 50% of its workers since February. At Rise and Shine Restaurant, the owner says business is slumping. There are ups and downs. You know, some days are better, some days are slow. It's, it's tough. Unless like some, something can turn around, we need a miracle, you know, because miracle. we need a miracle. The empty homes have changed the lives of the people who still call Plainfield home. In New York, Poppy Harlow reporting.